Hi everybody, this is Caesar. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a, a quick banner or button that you can embed into your website. Um, so I'm going to show you a really quick way to do it. I'm going to take you through the steps now. If you have Photoshop, uh, you, all you do is uh, create a new document and uh, change this from inches to pixels. Sidebars are usually uh, I don't know, they vary, but you know, in, in my case, it's uh, 300 pixels wide, I believe. So I can go back into my website and sort of check here. Yeah, it looks like it's a 300 um, wide pixel sidebar. So what I'm gonna do is go back to Photoshop here and uh, go 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels high, resolution 72. Always gonna do that. Always wanna have this on RGB mode or else it won't work. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna make a quick uh, button for you. Here we go. Uh, this could be a button, could be a, a banner ad, whatever you want. I like to use this, uh, this tool here. It's the rectangular tool and it creates a shape. Then you can, uh, uh, if you go over here to the layers, you can double click on the effects. Mine already had an effects on it, uh, an effect on it. So it, it um, automatically added a gradient uh, but when you double click on it, you can change the gradient to whatever color you want right in here. You can create your own too by double clicking on these little buttons and then uh, pick and choose your color. All right, so for now we're going to leave it at that. And we're going to say, uh, here, let me create another layer and go uh, banner add one. Okay. Okay, now this is just a quick tutorial. I'm not going to take you through the process of designing or anything like that. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Um, okay, so just so that you, so make it make that stand out a little bit, I'll change this color. And now what I'm doing now is changing the gradient of the banner, how it's going from white to black. I'm just going to change it to go from, instead of black, I'm just going to have it be a little lighter so it'll you'll be able to see it a little better. All right, and that's it. Um, hit OK. All right. And then uh, what we do now, um, what I want what I want with this graphic, it's got a white background. You see that, how it's got the white background in there? If I save it as a JPEG, it's going to include the white background. If I save it as a PNG, it's going to take away the background. But first, in order to do that, I have to uh, turn off the white background here on the layers palette. So where it says background, just um, turn that little eyeball off. And it's going to give you a, it's going to take out the, the background. All right, so that's that. As you can see the white background is gone. So what you do now, you go to File, Save for Save for Web and Devices, okay? And over here where it says the presets, just click on that and change it to PNG24. Hit Save. You can save it somewhere. I'm gonna save it to, um, I'm gonna save it to my website here. Making a new folder just so I can. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, add one. And I'm gonna hit save. Okay. Just gotta make sure you right here where it says format. Uh, just click on images only, not because if you if you do HTML and, and images, it's gonna save two different types of files. You don't you don't want to do that. You just want to save the image only. Okay. Hit save. Now what that did, it made a file for you on inside your computer in your hard drive. Um, and what I just did, I saved it to Smart Blogging here, and uh, if you scroll down to Tutorials, right? Okay, right in there. That's where my file is. So how I'm going to get this on the site, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your website. I'm going to go uh, forward slash WP admin hyphen admin. That takes you directly to your uh, dashboard board in WordPress and what you want to do um, just make a quick post okay this is the easiest way to do it there's a there's a more complex way to do it but that only works when you are an expert in HTML so what you want to do is click on add new here on posts okay now this is only a this is a temporary post it's not we're not really going to publish it uh, it's just going to create the the code that we need to insert into our widget area for the banner. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is click on this little icon where it says add an image. Click on that. 
right? On this pop-up window, we are going to browse and uh, browse our hard drive for the file. So we're going to click on Select Files from from Computer. Go into your Tutorials folder, or click Open. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so here are some of the settings for that image um, that you are that you can add uh, to your to your image, and I recommend that you do. So you always want to have an, a title for it. So if you're promoting um, MLSP, you may want to put on here uh, uh, MLSP. All right, training video, whatever. Okay, uh, caption. You don't need a caption on this, but you do want an alternate text. So I would copy that, okay? And then you don't have to worry too much about all this, but the, this is the URL for the image in your um, in in the FTP. But you don't have to copy that or anything like that. The, the code's gonna be automatically generated for you. And uh, if you wanna center it, you can click on center, full size, insert into post. Then that inserted the banner into a post, right? So now what you want to do is click on HTML right over here in this, this tab. Click on that and this entire uh, code right here, you select it, copy it, copy it. Then uh, you don't need this post anymore so it's okay if you uh, delete it. So now we can we can go into the widgets uh, under appearance, click on widgets and we're gonna make a widget for this particular um, uh, ad. Now, here we have the sidebar A, sidebar B, and this is where all my, uh, sidebar B is where, in this particular theme, this is where I have all my sidebar information. So what you do, um, you get this text widget here, and you drag it down to here, right below, I'm gonna put it right below the join me on Facebook. Page. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. And it's a little tricky because um, I have to make it fit in the, uh, I guess I could just drag it and then yeah, it automatically scrolls down if you hold it. And uh, just drop it there. Okay, then you, this it's got two fields. One is for the title, so I'm going to say add banner. I mean, obviously you, you want to put something relevant to whatever it is that you're promoting or you could just leave it blank if you don't want to have title show up right above the, the banner. Okay. Um, so add banner title goes here right in this field you copy the code and you hit save now when you go into your website okay, you go here you go uh, you go here and what that's gonna do it's gonna place the banner as you can see it's gonna be all the way at the bottom over here it's right there Okay, so I, I'm noticing that it did stick out a little bit. That's probably because the the uh, my sidebar wasn't exactly 300 pixels. Um, it was a little smaller. All right, so if you run into this issue where your your sidebar is smaller than your graphic, um, then what you know what you can do is just go back. Uh, whoops, what did I do? Oh. I pulled the tab out of that window. So just scroll all the way down, copy this code. Control, copy on the Mac. I think it's uh, the same on the PC, I'm not sure. Copy that, go up, make a new post, add new. So, let's make sure that you copy it into the HTML tab, not the Visual tab because it's it's not gonna it's not gonna allow you to change it. So what you do, you copy the code into the HTML, you click on the visual tab, that brings this graphic, uh, it, it shows you what the graphic looks like. Then you click on it and you shrink it. Okay. There. So that shrunk it down a little bit. And by holding shift, it keeps the proportions in place. If you let go, if you, um, well actually it does it either way, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and then you go back to the code, copy, go back to your widgets, 
you can leave that by saying leap page that basically uh, does not save that post on WordPress so it's not going to show up as a post on your site okay so let me scroll down replace that with and as you can see the the width here changed before it was 300 now it changed to 241 by 160 and you hit save you go back to your site which was here you hit uh, refresh scroll down and voila right so there might be you might need to do some adjustments here to make it be uh, to make it make you know make it uh, you can center it do whatever you need to do to make it fit make it increase the size a little bit a little bit just to make it a uh, be even an even space on the left and the right so you'll have to play with it but that's it that's all you do um, now oh one more thing I totally forgot to mention that you can hyperlink this so copy add new HTML already there paste go back to visual okay so I noticed that it was a little small so I'm make it a little bigger okay so now what I want to do is link this over to one of my offers okay so I'm gonna click on the uh, on the hyperlink it says insert edit link okay so you click on that you have to select the image then click on that and then you uh, make it go wherever you want if you want to go to let's say for example can't type today. YouTube.com forward slash Spire blogging. I wanted to go to my YouTube channel, so it would go here. Then I would make it. Uh, you always want to give a title to it. So um, visit my YouTube channel. Click here. This is good for SEO. You always want to give a title to your images, to your links. Everything should have a title. It's really good for SEO. And you hit update. Okay, so then you go back into HTML. Copy the code here. Again, copy. You go back to widgets. The page. Scroll all the way down. Paste, hit save. Now, when I refresh my page, okay, now this is a hyperlink. As you can tell, the arrow turns into a selection. Okay, and um, when you click on it, it goes to YouTube. And that's it. That's how you hyperlink an image, that's how you create an image in Photoshop, and that's how you embed the image into your sidebar using the widgets feature in WordPress. So there you have it guys, another quick tip to help you get your images on your blog. If you have any questions, go ahead and Skype me at caesar-g-torres, or you can also call me at 310-571-8736.